The shattered lands of Blackshore proved difficult tra uh, to traverse for the Black Wagon. Shadariel searches for a solid path forwards to Little Avail. Fie on these placid lands. How are we to proceed through this? Perhaps I may be of some assistance. This place is not so unfamiliar to me, nor are its uh, hidden denizens. Please remain with the others until I return, madam. I shall not be long. The minstrel disappears into the cliffs before Jadariel can protest. In the meantime, uh, you and she continue to keep uh, watch, sensing unseen eyes. The last time that one disappeared on us, we searched for him for days. But this time he soon returns. I have secured safe passage through the nest of Trieste. We may proceed. Secured safe passage? With whom exactly? <clears throat> Just then a winged woman dives down from the sky. She locks Jadariel up and down. Uh, she looks Jadariel up and down and then... She soars away without a word. The lone minstrel says nothing more either. <clears throat> Jadariel scowls... Uh, Jadariel's scowl deepens. For centuries, the Commonwealth withstood the High Wing remnants, treacherous assault, thanks to soldiers such as she. Right, we read that before. Minus four hope. Oh my god. See, so you want to do one good thing for her by taking the paths uh, she suggests and then... Uh, that was a bad choice. Okay. At last you arrive at the nest of Trieste, uh, where the next rite is soon to commence. Uh, you cannot shake the feeling that unseen eyes watching your um, feeling that unseen eyes watched your wagon's ascent, and remain watching now. Let's. Oh, a page revealed. Okay, let's take a look at that. The hunt for the myrrh. My emperor lay there, bleeding and alone, stranded in a bitter land beyond the river. With fleeting consciousness, he understood the folly of his quest and the folly of his rule over his country. Thus did he await the last embrace. It was the imp Haub that nursed him back to health and warned him often of the dangers he would have to face. Many enemies of Myr would come in search for him. Some under employment by the rope caller, some longing openly for cold, uncomplicated vengeance. I was one of them. I plunged into the river willingly. We needed to be sure that he was dead. Okay. Let's close that then. Uh, let's take a look at the snail market. Oh, hey you guys. What brings you way out here? No way, don't tell me, I don't want to know. All I want is you to get the best deals in the downside. Ooh, plenty of things. Expensive things. More stardust, we don't really need that right now. A righteous flame, what does that do? After dousing the adversary's pyre, the bearer's pyre is, res is restored up by five, that seems good. Uh, the sunken shadow, any uh, adversaries banished by the bearer's uh, by the bearer take longer to return one second honestly i think that's real I, I don't know that sounds negligible but i don't know if it actually is but either way i can't really buy anything right now with 51 right that's 60 45 i could buy that i'm gonna save up some money for uh for the righteous flame i think yeah, maybe some other time then, guys. Alright, let's commence the rite. You and your fellow exiles uh, gather on the blasted lands called the Nest of Trieste, expecting the imminent commencement of the rite. Uh, according to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence here. Okay. Wait, what did that say? The exiled, har the exiled harp matriarch lived in solitude among these very cliffs. You see no sign of any adversaries, but then you hear a whooshing sound above. This then is what passes for the Nightwings now. Such a rabble. 
not even dressed for the occasion yet. It seems the scribes have little pride in their tradition. Hold your tongue, hold your tongue, little bird. You have not come for talk. No, you have come on behalf of the Commonwealth. Mark well my words, you horn filth. When at last we are free ourselves, your home shall burn. With that, the harp swoops off as Chadariel glowers after her. It is only then that you realize another harp has come. She is quite serious, I assure you. I can help you sort her out. It's in our mutual interest. You know not of my interest. Mm. Let's give this another shot. Hi, my name's Pamitha Vane. They sure uh, the the surly one back there was my blood sister. No need to judge her harshly though. We've only uh, we've only met just now. Though I must say, something about you reminds me of her. A fuckless baby. How dare you impl uh, implicate that I have anything in common with your ilk. Sir. Just then, Hedwin shows up to intervene. He whispers something to Jadariel. No, Hedwin. You cannot be serious. Jody, I'm asking you to trust me on this one. Am I perhaps interrupting something? Say... By the by, however did you make it all this way across the sea? Didn't see you fly in? Trust is something I am loath to give away. Hedwin. Uh, trust is something I am loath to give away, Hedwin. But you have set our course thus far, and I have followed, so do as you must. That sandalwood had better have an explanation for all this. Tradariel storms off as Hedwin turns to you. What's your take on this one, my friend? Our informant wants someone for each mask. I hadn't expected uh, we'd run into a harp, yet here, uh, here she is. What are you getting from her? You turn your attention to uh, Pamitha, who has been watching with bemused interest. She appears to be one of the winged harps of the High Wing. Remnants now bound in exile. Ah, Rita, are you? Pleasure to make your acquaintance, darling. Well, here I am. Gaze intent, uh, gaze intently all you like, and tell your command, uh, and tell your comrade there the truth of it. Why don't you? You sense that she's conflicted about something, though you do not know what. You also sense, however, that her motives here and now are earnest. Hedwin wants uh, to know your uh, initial impressions of Permitha. Um, she seems alright. Reservations, uh, I don't know. She seems alright. Yeah, she seems alright. You tell Hedwin that you think the group should take its chance with uh, Permitha and take her at her word. My thoughts as well. I think and hope Chadariel will come around. He then turns to Pamitha. I'm Hedwin. We'll accept your offer on two conditions, if you'll hear me out. Conditions? Why, sure. I love a good condition or two. First, after we're, finished, after we're finished here tonight, you come along and make sure that your blood sister and her friends don't give us any trouble when we're headed out. Second, You'll have to find a way to get along with Jodariel, whom you met earlier. Brilliant. I had no plans to stick around here anyways. As for your demon friend, no doubt we'll get on famously. Now, I don't suppose you have an extra set of uh, Raymans I could use, because I think the right is getting started. Uh, you look up and see that she is right. Pamitha Thane joined you. She has a score to settle. Welcome. All right then. Speak to me, Jackbox voice. Or loading screen first, of course. Reader, 
I thought for sure the stars would have eluded you by now. Yet here you are, somehow, upon the nest of Triesta. Sure. And you've swelled the ranks of your triumvirate not merely with another, but with two. One from the Pyre Heart, no less. And one who seeks the favor of the adversaries whom you'll imminently face. They are the essence. Winged terrors, as you soon shall see. Can your longing for freedom match their hatred for the vibrant country that was once your home? From a distance you observe as uh, Pamitha, now clad in Nightwing's raiments, uh, heads towards your adversaries in the right. You, what sort of heathen harp would dare take wing against us? Your new companion then loosens the bindings on her mask. Hello there, Tamitha. Tamitha's blood sister uh, stares back at her a while before responding. What in the saint's name are you doing here with them? Is it a saint? Um, saint Triester uh, Tithis. Fifth of the eight scribes of the Book of Rites, known as the Disciplined or the Blessed Born. The eldest of the Harp Matriarchs, she anointed the Book of Rites and gave its words their power. Doubtless come to dig your talents in my back again. No, sister, I've come to have a word with you. Save it. I cannot help but share your poisoned blood. But I shan't ever count you as my sister. You expect me to believe that you came all this way for talk? You waste your time as ever. What's life if not a waste of time, dear sister? Give me a chance, why don't you? What do you even have to lose anymore? Besides, I've come a long way. Silence. You shan't have come here. And the time for talk is long since past. If only you could see yourself again consorting with my enemies. Fine then. Savor their defeat. But I warn you, stay away from me. Mm. Pamitha says nothing. Uh, says nothing more as her blood sister turns away again. Now, are we obligated mm. or disencouraged from using her? Uh, Pamitha gets your attention. Um, listen to me, reader darling. The rest of you are ill-equipped to navigate this place. Let me conduct this rite on your behalf, and my wings will bring you victory. Dear lady, your words ring true. This knight is flattered that you have not eaten him, as is the tendency among your kind. This knight hereby volunteers his post in the triumvirate for the... Sir Gilman refuses to participate in the rites uh, this night so that Pamitha can face her sister. You observe the treacherous terrain. Pamitha should be able to, uh, should be better suited to the rites uh, here than the rest of you. Okay. Who shall conduct the rites? Let's give her some cargo then. Um, maximum range or... After being banished? You know what? That seems useful if, if she's so uh, well suited for the uh, talisman. Let's give her one and choose her. Why, I thought you'd never ask there, darling. I accept. If the little bird is going to conduct the rites for us, then I shall not. Ah, oh, you'll, you'll learn to get along. Well, Rookie, it's your turn. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. You got it, chum. And, you know what? Edwin. Uh, Hedwin. Edwin. You can count on me, my friend. No! Come then, sisters. Perhaps, when we are finished here, you'll spare a moment of your time. I shan't be tricked by you again, Pamitha. How poetic that we meet here in the downside. I can think of nowhere else where I would rather see you rot for what you did to our people and to me. Hmm. Amitha seems to sense your presence and then catches your attention. Hello there, reader darling. 
If I'm to be at your mercy in all this, I'd like it very much if you could minimize how often I'm to wallow in this sta in a state of banishment. Quickly, let me show you what we sisters of the high uh, of the high wing remnants can do. Hold X. Rita, you put yourself amidst a feud between two sisters. That seems entirely unwise. Dash. Even for you. Okay. Tread lightly around that exile, Pavitha. Okay. Her kind's all but forgotten Saint Triesta's grace. And if we... How much range can we get on that? Okay, quite a decent amount, yeah. See, darling, we harps are not so bad. Now I suppose we'd better get to work, hmm? Just don't go underestimating Tamitha over here. I trust uh, you'll do the best you can. To the sky, sisters. Talent formation. This can be a, a rough one. I suppose. Now to the flame! Ah. Was the first banishment. <laughs> there we the go. Night wings thus assert themselves. Good first try. Hedwin, was it? Uh, tell me something. Do you know how to fly? I wish I did, right about now. Then listen up. My blood sister's there. Uh, my blood sister there, she'll swoop right past uh, you if you're careless, but we harps simply cannot get much altitude down here. So if he goes for, uh, so if she goes for any unfair tricks, just jump for it and catch her in the act. She always hated when I used to do that to her. X to block flying adversaries. Uh, yeah, I did that poorly. I switched over too slowly. Each pyre now burns no more brightly than the other. And there we go. Righteous fire! Your pyre burns brighter for a while. And there we go. Another one. Sunk it right in there. Okay. Come here. Ah, close call. Grab that real quick. Okay. Rookie is getting. There we go. Just dive in there. I like. I really like Rookie's speed. Damn you, Pamitha. You are no true Thane. To think that you have the gall to call me sister still after everything you wrought upon us. I hate to break it to you, Tamitha, but I don't think my actions, however much they hurt you, had any effect on our familiar status. Look, I know I wronged you. That's why I'm here. You don't know my side of the story. Your side of the story? If I wanted to hear more lies and deception, I ought have asked the Commonwealth to, st uh, to stay my sentence for a while. Well, if you, have to, uh, if you have come all this way to face me, Pamitha, then come and do it. You and me. You think that you see Pamitha shake her head. Everyone, stay back. Okay. What is it those two think they're doing? The rights are not the place to settle petty like that? scores. <laughs> and it is done. The you know who prevails. Yes, Their yes, the Nightwings. No Damn right, the Nightwings won. And that the was a weak showing ended. from uh, Tamitha. You Commonwealth filth. Only through this traitor's help. Could you have beaten us? You postponed the coming of our liberty, but we are ever patient, and our sisters on the other side, 
shall have that day with or without my aid. Permitha, wait, please. You found good company there, Permitha. May you wither here with them. I hope sincerely we shan't ever meet again. Permitha stands motionless as her blood sister departs. Uh, at least we beat them though, huh? Um, my name's Rookie Greentail, by the way, and um, I think we're heading back now, so you coming? Sure, I don't see why not. The eight scribes bless us go. with their ways. A flash of inspiration for next time. Ah, very good. Fast and strong and a little bit better looking too. I mean, is there anything I can't handle? Alright, what do we get here? Uh, Rookie can jump a second time while airborne. A double jump, right? Casting fast, uh, casting further. Um, when Rookie banishes an adversary by casting his aura, the blast can banish nearby adversaries. That's all good, but I'm gonna go for the double jump. Because that just seems very, very neat. Alright then. Very good. Until the next right. Alrighty then. After thwarting the essence in a rather one-sided contest, you and the others return to your wagon to consider your next move and how best to integrate Permitha into the group. Agres temprale. Don't worry, I won't be staying any longer than it takes. I like my fresh air so I can sleep up on so I can sleep up on the roof. I trust the rites will uh, cause my path and uh, Tamithas to cross again before long. You are welcome with us for now, Permitha. Uh, trust is what uh, trust is what got us here, isn't that right, Rookie? But Rookie does not seem to hear the question. He has been rather quiet since first encount uh, encountering a new guest. <laughs> uh, Permitha shoots him one of her smiles. He stammers something about having to check the wagon wheels again. Uh, he runs off. During this discussion, the minstrel pulls you aside. Rita, uh, I ask a moment of your time outside. There is something I may add. Uh, there is somewhere I may ask we go here in the Black Basin, Reader. By your leave, of course, and provided that the stars allow it. Would you look upon them for us, please? Seek your new destination. Okay. But that's where I'm going to call it for today. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.